This is the fourth video in the chapter on cost, volume, profit. And in this video, we are looking at the formulas that needed to figure out how much sales we need to earn a target net income. And also, we are going to look at what is the margin of safety and how do we calculate it. Now, to determine the uh, level of sales necessary to achieve a specific amount of income, we're going to look at it again as we did with the cost, volume, profit at zero income. We're going to look at the way we calculate it mathematically, the contribution margin. We're going to also look at how we calculate it based on number of units I need to achieve um, the target net income or the total number of sales dollars that I would need. Now, for the equation. We're going to look at required sales, that's the total sales, minus my variable cost, minus my fixed cost. That will leave me my target net income. For example here, we use what we did in the last one when we talked about camcorders, which cost $500. The variable cost of the camcorder was $300, the fixed cost were $200. And in this case, we want a profit of $120,000. So mathematically, 500 minus 300Q gives me 200Q, and on this side of the equation, I have the fixed cost plus the target net income. The amount, the quantity I need then is simply to divide the fixed cost plus the target net income by the contribution margin per unit, and I get 1,600 units. Doing it the contribution margin way, well, that is simple. We figure out the sales and units by using the contribution margin per unit. We know the contribution margin per unit is 200. Recall the selling price, 500. The variable cost was 300. So the contribution margin is 200. Now, this 200 contribution has to go to cover the fixed. And when what's left over is profit. So... In order to determine the number of units, we simply divide the fixed cost plus the net income by the contribution margin, and we get the same as we did in the first case, 1,600 units. Now, if I wanted to do it by uh, sales in dollars, recall if I want to determine the amount of activity in dollars, I use the contribution margin ratio. And again, it's the same thing. I take the fixed cost plus target net income and I divide through by the contribution margin percentage. So in this case it would be 320,000 divided by 0 0.40 which means I have to do 800,000 in sales dollars in order to cover my fixed and give me a profit of 120. So that's how I use the cost, value, and profit model, not only to figure out break-even, but also to figure out what level of sales I have to do in terms of units or sales dollars to give me a certain amount of profit. Lastly, in this chapter, we introduce the idea of margin of safety. And that is the cushion. Uh, that is, uh, the actual sales a company is doing over and above what it needs to earn zero profit or to break even. Now this ma uh, margin of safety can be expressed in dollars or as a ratio. For example here, let's assume that the sales is 750,000 and we determined before that my break even was half a million. So my margin of safety is the difference between what I'm actually doing now and what I needed to do to break even. That means that actually my sales can go down by $250,000 before I get negative in the profits. Above 500, my profits are going, uh, my sales gives me a profit. And this can also be expressed in terms of a ratio. Again, we take the actual amount, 750,000, and we say, look, the margin is 250. I'm selling 250000 more than I need to break even, so I am profitable. I'm beyond break even point. And therefore, that percentage, I take that 250, divide by 750, I get 33% ratio. So, therefore, what I want to do is maximize this. The higher the margin of safety, the more, less risky this company is of falling into 
an unprofitable year. And that concludes now an analysis of the cost, volume, profit, and how costs behave. We looked at the cost, volume, profit model. Uh, we looked at the high-low model. We looked at determining the level of uh, sales to break even, determine the level of sales to earn me a profit, and we looked at the margin of safety. You will be responsible for every one of these items in this chapter.